All right, y'all, welcome back to Mastering Mayhem. We are going to reattach this damaged uh, bollard. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do that. Thanks for watching. So as you can see here, these four bolts are completely ruined, damaged, no more threading left, bent. We're gonna go ahead and use my rigid uh, angle grinder to cut these guys down and make it level again. And then I'm gonna use my Bosch SDS drill to drill new holes, basically pretty close to the old ones. That way we don't move the pole much further than what it was, where it was, and it'll be done nice and clean. And then we gotta pound these down, see how they're, they're bent. So I'm gonna see if I can straighten those out with my three, four, five pound uh, sledgehammer, mini sledgehammer here. See if we can straighten that out. see now it is perfectly flush okay so right now you might be able to see it I already smashed down one side straightened it out and I'll smash the other side just to show you I'm just using a piece of wood so I don't break up the concrete and uh, we'll just go from there Okay, as you can see, it's pretty nice and flush and flat. And now we'll go ahead and drill the new holes for the new wedge bolts. Okay, so for this part, I already adjusted my depth rod to where I drilled the first hole right here. And I see, kind of see where the line is and it matches up with about the depth of the bolt. You want to give you at least an inch above the line there just so, so you have something for your nut to catch on. Uh, but that's what we got right now. We're gonna get ready to drill the, the other three holes here. One, two, three. And then we're gonna, with the air compressor, we're gonna go ahead and clean out the holes because it highly recommends that with these Strong Bolt 2 by Simpson Strong Tie. So it shows you right here on the back too how to do it. So you just drill out the hole, clean it out. And then with the hammer, you just knock it down on top of the plate, this plate here. Just knock the bolt down all the way and then you just tighten it down and it should hold it securely. So we'll go ahead and film that process. but all four holes are cleaned out. Uh, just air, <coughs> air cleaned them. I mean, as you can see though, we have water here. I don't know where the leak's coming from or where the water's coming from, but um, there is water in there, but I'm just gonna start knocking these 3 8 inch by three and three quarter inch bolts into place. Basically you take the 3 8 inch in diameter bolt and put it right in the hole there. And you just take your hammer and you just start to knock it in. And just go down to the point of where you have at least an inch or so above OK, 
Okay, now we have all four bolts into place and we're just gonna go get go ahead and get these washers on with the nuts and that should hold it securely in place. All right y'all, so we went ahead and got some bigger washers here and some smaller ones. Then on top of that, I put some lock washers and then the nut that way because the holes inside the bottom metal plate of the bullard was they were too big so just kind of just make sure make sure we have enough surface area covered so we'll go ahead and tighten these down and we should be good all right so like i was saying we'll just tighten them down now and it'll be good to go i'm gonna go to the back side first because it seemed like this part's a little higher and i'm just using my rigid impact wrench impact driver here because it does the job well enough Oh yeah, that guy's not going anywhere. It's there for as long as it, you know, it doesn't rust out. All right, y'all, so that's it. We got the bollard in place. All new bolts, nuts, washers, lock washers. This guy is as solid as it could be. It's not going anywhere. It's shaking me instead of shaking the pole. Again, we appreciate y'all tuning in here at Mastery Mayhem, where we try to find you the best tools, tech, DIYs and deals to help make life a little easier and work a little more efficient. Until next time.